Hi there, it's Pat Moss and welcome to yet another episode with our Ostriff game. We'll get the time running. It's nice and snowy. We can see a lot of people walking around enjoying the benches in this little market area. Of course, we already have a bigger town. There it is. And, well, I have a few plans for this one. I don't know how many more I will make with this one. It's fun to grow a bit more and, and just expand a bit more, but I guess most of the things you can do with this game I've already shown. But one of the things I haven't shown you is to start working on a round village. And what I'm going to do is, in my country, in Holland, a lot of small villages were built around a central square, and on that central square you'll find the church. And what I want to do is make a half round village in this area. So what we need to do is build ourselves a nice church. And then I'll build a half round village around it. And just to give you an idea of how it will look. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put it this way. Somewhat in the center of this, this whole area. And then we'll just try and build a village around it. We don't have enough stone yet to complete the church, but that's not really that important. I want to just show you what you can do with it. Alright, let's build a fence around it. That's a thing I always like. Right, let's stop it right there. Let's continue on this side. Some, I, some of the things I would like to see in this game, for instance, is that you can just put on the a grid function where you get all these little squares so you can make really straight things. I don't know, maybe it's already in there, I just haven't found it, but I guess that'll be a nice feature I would really like. Just a nice grid function, but I'm not sure if they'll get that in at some point. All we need to do now is make sure this area is closed off. Alright, so now we have a church. Of course we have to put in some trees. Especially since it's a church and I like big trees. We we'll put in two benches right here. It's always nice. We need to put in a few bushes, of course. So that it really looks like a church. And now we can begin. And what I'd like to do is... In this case, we want an opening so people... If you make like a real half circle... People that live in the center have to walk all the way around to one side or the other side just to get out of there. So we want an opening in the middle as well. So what I like to do is get a house and just make it straight across where you want to be. So just like this. And we'll just put it there. And later on we will remove this one and you get a nice big opening where you can put market stalls etc. But it's also our guiding house for now. So what I like to do, we'll add this house to this side and then you start rotating it. You have to rotate it the right side of course. And I rotate this as much as I can. We don't make it too big and we'll just build it. Hold shift of course and the next house rotate again. Try it to go as far as you can. And again. And well, just continue doing that until you've reached what you want. Now it could be nice if we would end up all the way up there, so it would look really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy two houses and I'm going to do it again. But this time stretch them out a little bit more. So they are the area where they are... Like if you do it like this, the area gets really small and you can just stretch it out a bit. And that's what I want. I'm going to stretch it out a bit. Ooh, that's the wrong way. And hopefully that will help us end it up in the right place. Or at least as I want it to. I have to do it a little bit more like this. Yeah, it doesn't turn as far as I want it to. 
So it's a bit of a trial and error, I guess. So if you start off too small, you'll just have to do it again. But that's not really a big issue. It's it's rather small. You can just go with it. Oops. I didn't press shift long enough. So you can just go with it and see how far you can get. But I really like to make it nice looking. Right, here we go. I don't know if we'll make it this time. Sometimes when you get further in the game, holding the shift key just isn't enough. Alright, I'm gonna do a different... Let's do a different approach, see if that works. What we can also try is just build a house somewhere here and then go down. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. Sometimes the area just isn't big enough or it just doesn't work out. And right now we have time running already and a lot of stuff is happening in the city. Sometimes, well, I tried to do this with my starting houses and it worked out pretty well. And then it's just more easy to just pause the game and then continue from there on. Uh, I think this looks good. Yeah, this is like half a circle. It's almost there, so yeah, that's good. We have a villager. Do we need anything? Not really. Alright, bye. So, it's a bit of a trade-off. Of course, it's just what you want. The nice thing with um, not recording your game is that you can pause it more easily and it'll be... Nobody will be complaining that there's not much to see. If you record it and you take like 20 minutes to just build a nice half circle that looks like a perfect half circle, but nothing else happens in your game. I think that's quite boring. So that's why I'm not doing that. The shift key is really giving me a hard time right now. All right. Oh, I did think this is good because right now they still have a place to walk here. So this area is a little bit shorter, but that's fine. We can move the church way back because we need these houses built first. We can do the same thing with the benches. Just turn them slightly every time you go to one of your new houses. All right. Let's see. Let's stop turning them this side now. That's it. And now we'll be getting a half village. Oh, I made a mistake because this one we want to be removed. Let's get rid of it. Now what you can do is you, you can fill in this area. For instance, you can uh, make another little park or whatever. What I like to do is just set off this area so they can't get in there. Then do it all the way up here, I think, yeah. And then we'll make two entrances for people so they can actually get in on this side. Something right here. doesn't really matter where exactly. It's just so that they can get in. And then we can finish the fencing. You can do like small parts so you get also a little feel of a round circle. So just go along with small bits. It'll be nice. All right, I think that's cool. And then we'll add like one or two market stalls. Just play with them a bit. You can always put them nicely in the corner or whatever, but you can also just have fun with it. For instance, do it something like this. One here. And one here. Just two of them. Of course, we need to add one or two benches, I guess. What way are they facing? That way. All right, we'll put a few benches up here alongside the fence. Well, that's it. And then we need a few trees, of course. 
so it also gives you the feel of a park which is basically a birch tree park now with only a handful of other stuff all right that's it but now we have a nice area with a park we can even try and fit in a well i don't know if that will fit anymore since we've already put in all the trees but maybe it will yeah it will all right so they can go get water there as well and now you have one nice area you can do the same thing on the other side or make something completely different that's all up to you I like to think this is nice and since we already have a little graveyard we don't need to get another graveyard with the church so it's just this and now they'll start working on the houses I'll put it on speed 3 see if we can finish a few I think I'm going to put an extra well in just right there then we need a worker for our food stall and put in some food we'll put in buckwheat, flour some milk and potatoes and in the other one dried fish, chicken meat chicken eggs and well what else should we put in there we don't have dried fish we need fish that's a mistake I made there alright and some beef I guess and now that's working they've got their stuff in people can walk in and now you get a light round half village and if you want to continue with a second round and a third round you can just do it the same way so just place one house in there that you will delete later on and you can just go all the way around or you can just start on this side and see how far you can get I've started on this side a few times but then when I got to here I mean this is a big opening if you want a smaller one that is possible but then you have to just work your way around that and see if you can do a better job than me. I like it this way, it's pretty plain and simple. What you also can do, for instance, is put a few benches in here. So you will close this opening a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. We put in like three benches, like this. We turn them around, we put in another three. So now they can sit in the middle of the road. And what you can do then is, well, get a pine tree, for instance. And we'll create some shade for the people for when they are sitting there. And that way this will also give you a little bit of a feel like it's a park. And I guess that can be nice. So now they'll plant the trees. It will take a season or two for the trees to really grow. But then you can really see what I mean. Right, spring has come. So our farms are busy. Things are growing. We need to check our livestock nothing to slaughter there no yeah we have one to slaughter here until it give us meat that's good should check this one as well where is he right here Ooh, three-year-old cows and a three-year-old bull now this one's 11 oh we have one that's a year so we'll slaughter the old one keep the young one that's better how many stone do we have already we have 1900 stone. How much do we need for the church? 1200, so we have plenty. So I think we'll build the church also. We have plenty of people available, so we could also start working on a few jobs. And an interesting thing, this area is almost cleared of trees. There are a few new trees going up, it appears, or just bushes. Uh, most of them are just bushes. So we can also fill out this area with something we want, for instance a new farm or whatever. That's just whatever you feel like. But it's interesting is if all these trees are gone, we might build a new carpenter here, what is it called? A forester or whatever. I always forget the name, a forestry. So we built the forestry right here. We can delete this one. That could be a thing, or we could just keep it. We have plenty of wood anyway, they're producing wood here as well, so if they have to walk a little bit further, that's not really a problem. You can just see. But as you can start to see here, this is how it will look if you build a half-round village with some decorations, etc. Perhaps I should have done this one straight up with that, but I'm not sure. 
Or maybe we could have just attached it to this. Hmm. It's just what you want. You can also leave it in open space, so don't go get a fence around it. Just make all these bushes and things and put in a few marketplaces, etc. It can all be very nice. Now, as you see, people are starting to sit on these benches. That's not... See, she comes from this house. She can also sit there. But she doesn't sit there. She goes to another bench. Because these are grouped benches, and that means that they can meet each other. And that's also important. So sometimes they'll just go to a bench a little bit further away, but where they can meet someone. So it's not just a thing that just put a bench as close to their home and they'll be as efficient as they can be, etc. Sometimes uh, they won't be as efficient as they can be, and they'll just choose an option which they really like instead of the one closest by. So that's an interesting thing. So even if you place all your benches in an optimal space, it's not always said they will use those benches. Now, we really like these houses where those trees are already growing. Especially if you zoom in a bit. For instance, if we go to the market, you can see the really big trees on our town hall. And if you take a look at the village right now, everything is really straight, of course. It's the way I've built it. But yeah, I really like the fact that there's just nature, big trees around, a cool market square here where people can get all their stuff. There's trees growing. And especially with the half round village we're building, where it is right here, if the trees in this part start growing and get bigger, etc., and because of the way we build it, it'll look really nice. Not as straight as all the other houses, because, well, this isn't straight. We made it in a curve. But yeah, I think I really like that. And of course, if you start a village, and or if we would have moved this church all the way there, you can completely build a round village. I've already built a complete round village in a trial run. And, well, maybe I'll just do a video about that game that I have. I'll just show it and, and tell what I did. Or maybe I, I'll do a new series about making a really big round town. I'm not sure yet. But I had a lot of fun just playing around with it and trying to make it look real nice, get a really round thing going on. I had a church on one side and the uh, city hall on the other side, both with a nice garden around it. And that, that gives you the space to really build a nice village. A round village. But that's up to you. And of course, if you are building a nice village, please feel free to, to send me like a picture of it. Or, or, I don't know, maybe you can attach it in your YouTube comment. I don't know how that works. But if you can, we'll just buy the weed. I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, we almost out of weed, so we can use a little bit extra. But I, I would really like to see the villages you guys built. So if you have one or more, just send me a few pictures. And I'll, I'll look at them and respond to it. It'll be really cool. Right, this is looking good. We have a one-year-old bull, an 11-month-year-old bull, so that one can go. Well, luckily, speed 3 is still going quite well, I have to say. So we can really start seeing shaping this up. Ooh, and there you go, with the church. They're bringing in everything. It'll be fine. I really like the structure of the church. That's a real good call. And I can't wait to see what developments will come this year. If you follow the Facebook of the developer, you can see quite a few nice pictures of new buildings, etc. that are coming our way. So hopefully it won't take too long. Of course, I guess it's really hard if you are developing a game like this on your own. That can be really tough, I guess. So... Perhaps we have to wait a while, but just hoping it'll come quicker. All right. Well, still quite some stuff they need to bring. Do we have enough nails? Oh, yeah, we have. All right. Well, we are out of buckwheat again. Which is not so good, because our farms need those. But it's also not a really bad thing, because it's pretty late before we ran out of buckwheat, so... Quite quickly, new buckwheat will come in. And there should be a big field right here. Perfect. 
and otherwise we'll just build an extra farm and get some more. Here you can see the big difference. We have three fields with this farm. 1360 units, 2500 is almost double the number of units, also three fields, but you get way more out of that, so it might be a good idea building an extra farm soon. Perhaps for making it easy, we could just get three fields attached to this one and build our new farming area here. That's just the easy way going, of course, but it'll work out. They'll give plenty of food again and I don't know I have to look at the fertilities of course but maybe we can do some buckwheat and some hemp because if we can no we can't all right well we really need buckwheat so this will do buckwheat and wheat or potatoes again then I would also like to get a farm with hemp to start producing clothes maybe we can just change this out get the buckwheat out and put in some hemp or something to start producing stuff for clothes. We'll see. Well, they gathered everything, so now they'll be building the church. They're laying the foundations, which is pretty interesting considering the fact that they, all they got is a bit of clay and wood and thatch, and now they are... Oh no, we got stones. True. I forgot that this building needs stone. And they really used the stone well for the foundation, so that's good. Well, someone died. Quite soon they can hold a sermon in church. Do you remember that person? Well, it's a really big structure. I really like the fact that there's all this scaffolding around it, etc. That's really cool. It's a really nice addition to the uh, building site. Really cool. And well, in the summer, the village looks really nice. There's a lot of sunshine. The weather is good. I really do forget to zoom in every now and then on this game. Well, right now we do it, but in my own games I'm just busy building everything you want and making everything look nice, but mostly don't take the time to just look at it, and now we're just taking the time to look at this nice building. Well, it appears everyone's taking a rest, yeah. Well, two are coming, th and one is already working, so there they go. They'll start to work again. Let's finish this nice church. Still quite a while to go, but it's okay. We have a visitor. Well, I guess we need to buy some iron. To get some nails done. So yeah, let's get that. And that's about it. Don't have to sell anything, so this is good. Well, there they go. I'll need to remove the scaffolding again. And then we'll have a nice church. Wow, doesn't that look amazing? I don't know who designed this, but I really like the design. Yep, working really hard. There it is. Our church is done. Perfect. Well, that looks nice. And now we get a half round village around the church. So, yeah, that's good. I think with all the villagers already living there, we need to get a well done soon. So that they can get some water and they don't have to walk too far. Farms are already harvesting. Nice, we have some buckwheat again be used at our chicken farms, for instance. Still producing eggs, etc., so that's all good. Hopefully good amounts of fish are produced, I think so. Yes. Great. 
Well, two boats need to be repaired, though they're still out at sea. Resource supply. Well, we can set it to 5,000, I believe. Because if you do, then they don't have to walk that often to get new wood. So maybe they can repair two boats now before they have to get new wood in. So that's also a thing you can do. And of course, if a lot of your boats need repair at the same time, we have four boats now that need repair, it might be useful at some point to get an extra boat yard. So to get the maintenance done on all the boats. Right, next house being built. Really working hard on the farm. So we have two one-year-old bulls, so one can go. These guys need some food and some financial help, I guess, because they don't have that much. Well, no new villagers coming in. These are just existing villagers, but they can reproduce. So that's a good thing. We can still grow our village that way. What should we do here? Two one-year-old bulls. Three one-year-old bulls. Four one-year-old bulls. Right, well, a lot of bulls there. And let's get rid of this one. And a three-year-old. Alrighty. Well, that's all looking good. So the village is still running. We have plenty of things like buckwheat, etc. again. So that's good, although I think we need to work on another farm, but we're going to do that next time. Right now we're just watching this half-round village develop and see how it goes, or part of the village, I have to say. We've got a church now, which is nice. And, well, perhaps if I zoom in a bit, you can see how this looks right now. So you get this really nice... nice pathway where they can sit and interact with each other between the houses. I think that makes this area look a bit nicer. Another house done, that's good. New family can come in, so that's also good. There's jobs available, they don't fill them all because, well, we don't have a way to educate our people and for some jobs they need education. Now, what we can also do is get a lime in going. We have limestone and we have charcoal, so why not? Let's just put it right there. And they can put in this limestone and get some charcoal, and then we can start working on limestone. Perfect. Another house being built. So basically, this is just a nice, easy way to get your round village. And if you want to do another one, another part, well, just place a house here and then go that way. And you can also keep a space open here. So you have like five houses, then an open space, five houses, open space. So they have room to maneuver to get to other parts of town. If you make a complete circle, then they have nowhere to go, of course, which is kind of stupid. And if you have only one or two openings, that might look nice, but your villagers will have to walk quite far every time they have to get out. So I like to keep a few openings. Now this one's pretty big of course, you can always try and make it smaller, but I mean if you just get a house you should be able to see to get a pretty narrow pass. That's just possible, so don't hesitate to do that. I mean you can get quite close before it starts to attach. Well I like it this way. And, well, I guess that's about it for this episode. It's already almost half an hour. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. We are already at 230 subscribers, which is totally mind-blowing and amazing. I really love it. And if you have a game you want to see me play, of course, just let me know. If you have tips and tricks for this game or any other game I play also, just feel free to let me know. Someone already recommended Lord Manor, or Manor Lords, I believe. Manor Lords, that is it. That's it. Uh, I'm trying to get my hands on that. And, well, hopefully you guys can give me uh, the names of a few cool games that I can get and enjoy myself with, and of course make videos about it. Uh, so thank you very much. You guys are great and amazing. Thanks for all the views I get. And see you next time. Bye-bye.